Are you thinking about subscribing to Twitter Blue, but you're not sure if it'll be worth it? What's up, mate? My name is Twatter, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining some of the pros and cons for Twitter Blue, why I use it on one of my accounts, and what it has done for me so far. To clarify, this is just someone that I've been working with and managing their Twitter. However, I wanted to test this on a low-followed account to see how well it would perform. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say that while in the middle of writing this script, I realized that they took away Twitter Blue after only two days of offering it. I'm still going to continue with this video explaining on if it's worth it, hoping that it comes back. I see people who subscribe to Blue or getting their check marks taken away? That hasn't been the case for me. If you'd like me to make a video on why I think they removed Twitter Blue, leave a comment below. First, let's take a look at some of the cons. The obvious con is that when you click on the verified check mark, you can see if someone is subscribed to Twitter Blue or has it because of some type of importance. Another big con is the price. $8 a month adds up to $96 a year for a social media platform that was once free. For me personally, I use Twitter for business and growth purposes. My entire goal with Twitter is to make sales and to grow my own personal brand. So for Twitter Blue to be worth it for me, I have to believe that it has a direct correlation with an increase in sales. We have to compare metrics because metrics are the only way we can determine if Twitter Blue is worth it from a financial standpoint. I can't compare followers because I've only had Twitter Blue for two days since it just launched two days ago. However, I can compare my client's sales from last week's Thursday and Friday with no verification compared to this week's Thursday and Friday sales with verification. Also to clarify, in these two days, I did notice a bit more of engagement on this account than usual. I gained a couple hundred more followers alone in these past few days. Before we compare sales and get a definitive answer on if Twitter Blue is worth it or not, let me talk about the benefits. The main benefit is the discoverability. Twitter Blue claims that your replies to tweets will be higher and in turn will be seen by more people. This will lead to more people stumbling across your Twitter and an increase in followers. Another way it helps with discoverability is the simple effect that the blue check mark has on our brains. Us as humans coming up in the social media world have been subconsciously trained to think that people with a blue check mark are more important. A clear example of this is Spotify. If you didn't know, now you know that anyone can get verified on Spotify. It's a part of checking your analytics. The point is that everyone is verified, so it doesn't have the same effect as a verification does on other social media platforms. However, with Twitter, everyone with the blue check mark has always been someone of importance, and it will take our brains a while to readjust. I honestly believe that the blue check mark will get diluted very soon if they bring it back. Truthfully, I think it's already diluted quite a bit as far as being far less important than it ever used to be. However, I believe that we still have a little while that it'll trick users' brains and in turn get you more followers or sales. Twitter has also mentioned some of the other benefits such as longer tweets, longer videos that could be tweeted, etc. However, with Elon possibly pulling the plug, I don't want to speak on the exact benefits right now. Now without further ado, let's compare the sales and get a definitive answer on if Twitter blue is or was worth it. These are my sales for November 3rd and 4th. I want to make sure that I compare it to the same exact days of the week because Fridays are typically the best days for sales and I want to get an accurate comparison. As you can see on Thursday and Friday, a week before I got Twitter Blue for them, they made four sales which grossed a total of $85. Now let's see how many sales they did with Blue. I subscribed to Blue for them Thursday morning as soon as it launched November 10th. They got 12 sales in these two days which grossed a total of $240. As you can see, that's a sales increase of about 400%. I would definitely say that Twitter Blue has been worth it from a business standpoint considering and it costs $8 a month and it has led to 8 more sales in just 2 days. No matter what you're using Twitter for, as long as your goal is to grow as fast as possible, Twitter Blue is definitely worth it for you at this point. I'm really mind blown that it was ever a thing to begin with, but I'm even more mind blown that it's gone less than 3 days later. I'm what I call a perfect devil's advocate, meaning I can see both sides to every story, arguably too well. I say that to say I understand completely why Elon thought that this would be a good idea. This will generate Twitter millions of dollars in monthly income, which will give Elon the opportunity to launch a creator fund just like other social media platforms are doing. The major problem with this is that it ruined the integrity of the app in the process. Twitter has been slammed with trolls, scams, and fake verified Trump pages. Again, I see both sides. I see the benefits of generating monthly income that can be put back into creators' pockets. However, I do not think the best way to do that was to verify everyone and their mother. Elon, if you're watching this, I got a better idea for you. Copy, I mean get inspiration from Instagram's ad process. Meta is a money printing machine and it all comes from ad revenue. The reason this works is because of how personalized Instagram ads can be set to. For example, you can not only pick the exact cities to show your ad to, you could also pick the exact topics that the viewer must be interested in before they even get shown this ad. If Twitter implemented the same strategy for advertising, they would make much more money from companies like me who would love to advertise on the platform as long as the audience is defined. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was informative and somewhat entertaining for you. Currently we're at 1100 out of 100,000 subscribers for my draw of my life video. I have had crazy obstacles in my life that have tried to stop me from becoming successful and chasing my dreams. If you want to know all about these obstacles, the trauma, and the depression that I've had to overcome to create a successful business, then consider subscribing because once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be telling my full life story. And if you're thinking this story can't be that crazy, the first time I ever tried was with my mother. Fast forward years later and I haven't seen or heard from her in over a year.